Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Uh, been a little quiet here, been a little bit different summer, but I want to kind of show you what I've been working on. Uh, this is more of a, this is what I did, probably not a how-to video, but uh, keep it simple video once again. Uh, always using that KISS method on the farm. So, uh, you can see behind me I've got a trench, and we're going to talk a little bit about how I got high-speed internet from my house to the barn. Um, so let's walk around a little bit and I will kind of show you what I got going on here. So before I get going, uh, you can see that trench goes all the way up. Uh, why internet to the barn? Well, uh, I never thought that I would have to use the internet for my job and it has started looking that way uh, this is my 20th year I'm about ready to start my 20th year teaching and everything is online well um, quite a bit of it's online uh, we store files through Google uh, Drive uh, last school year I spent a lot of it teaching remotely and you're probably watching this video through internet means. So, uh, so that's why. Uh, also, I, I am blessed to be in a rural area that has fiber optic service. And so I have, I believe, 250 meg going to the house. Um, and that's, that's a synchronous. So upload speed and download speed is 250. And so I have buried a... 200 foot cat six cable going from the barn from the house to the barn and so let's turn you around and take a look at really what we did so as i uh i think about doing a how-to video this is not really a how-to video this is not anything more than just uh digging a trench and connecting the dots so to speak i bought a 200 foot direct berry cat six cable and then I started thinking hey dummy if you're going to dig a trench spend a little bit more money and so I put that inside of I, I put that inside of a three-quarter inch plastic conduit and glued it all together because there's a good chance that someday the internet will change uh, I was able to get the local utility guy to come out I do have another extra fiber optic line coming from the road to my barn which would cost me more money and then i'm not sure if they're going to show up but i've got the power that comes from the house to the barn and they marked that out those are also inside conduit and two foot down so i felt pretty safe so we spray painted everything down you see markings along the sides and that was basically how many half an hours it took me to dig uh, we dug a little bit deeper underneath the drive. Yeah, I know this is super exciting, right? And then we just kind of went right up, right up to the house. And that goes into a crawl space. I spent probably about four and a half to five hours digging this trench. Uh, there's about a hundred and 45 feet of conduit in there. Uh, it would have cost me $120 to rent a trencher um, plus uh, two, or two, two gallons of gas one way to the rental place. Um, and like I said, I spent four and a half to five hours trenching it by hand and uh, I will keep that money in my pocket. Thank you very much. Uh, I will leave a link for that Cat6 cable um, and, uh, and then the, the tubing, the electrical conduit, just bought it at the Menards, the big box store. Uh, so let me show you how I hooked this up and, uh, and then we will uh, we'll go in the house, show you how I hooked it up and then I will take you to the barn and show you my, uh, my router out there. To put this internet together was really very simple uh, I wish I could have got a matching cover plate but I wasn't able to find that uh, so that blue line is just one of my auxiliary ports coming out of my 
back of my router. And then that plugs into, this is a double female plate. And inside that, so this plugs into this side. And on the other side is my big heavy Cat6 cable that kind of fishes down through the crawl space and out into that conduit. And then this is where my Cat6 cable comes back through the barn. Uncertain whether I'm going to put that into a box. I have, oh, 20 feet of extra cable. And then that goes up to this router right here. Uh, this was a freebie from a friend that works in the tech industry. And then I just had to hook that up into the internet port of that. And that throws my signal pretty good. I got a little bit of cleaning up to do as, as always, but uh, that will throw my signal. So ultimately, uh, why didn't I go with a, uh, a power line adapter? Um, why didn't I go with a wireless signal? If you own a pole barn or work in a metal building, uh, you don't even get cell phone signal inside this building. It, you know, uh, all the doors have to be open and that's not very practical uh, much of the year. Uh, to go along with that, sending a lot of signal out here. Uh, I could still run into one of those auxiliary ports and send it to a certain area if I have to. I went with Cat6 cable uh, because Cat5 will uh, start to lose some of that signal as it goes further distance. 200 feet isn't bad though. Um, and so I, I, can, I can run this over into the workshop and and then I can, you know, use it as I need to, uh, if I need to, um, you know, if I need to teach from my shop, that would have been really helpful last school year. Uh, this entire barn now, I could ultimately do a live feed, or <laughs> I'm thinking more of a live Zoom situation where I, I'm actually teaching groups of kids. Um, I could put the camera up high, I could talk to them, uh, I could put the camera up high, talk to you guys as well. So uh, it, this is the world we live in. Uh, if anybody's listening to this, I can't urge you enough. When you're breaking ground, run that conduit. Um, if a mouse gets into my Cat6 cable, you know, like I said, it was 60-ish bucks, I could just pull a new one now. Uh, and so that that leg work is done um and so uh thanks uh not super exciting <laughs> i don't specialize in super exciting but golly gee really practical i mean i'll be in the shop in the barn my wife sends me a text from the house and i get nothing and so uh this will definitely help it out uh you know who knows maybe we'll we'll get a tv and watch movies in the shop <laughs> probably not but uh it's it's a neat tool and if you know three four years ago i would have laughed at someone heck when i ran power out to the barn if i knew what i know now i would have i would have ran another piece of conduit with my my ethernet cable so uh sorry to be long-winded again but that's what's happening on the farm. Uh, this is what I'm working on. Sorry about the shake. This is what I'm working on. And so I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, I'm gonna cover up those trenches today and move on to the next gig. So take care guys. Bye now.